done, boy. What's wrong with you, man? Nah, man. What are you shoving me like that for, man? Nah, man. I'm just trying to walk. Wait, you gonna see me walking in the store, bro? My bad. How are you just gonna walk into me like that, bro? That turn, shoot, around, bro. turn around, man. You have anything on you? Turn around. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, I gotta bring that back because you gotta be on something to not clearly see an officer walking in. You like you make eye contact. What? Step to the side. Just, That's so okay. Oh, he didn't make eye contact. But still. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> man what are you shoving me like that for, man? Nah, man, I'm just trying to walk. Wait, you gonna see me walking in the store, bro? My bad. How are you just gonna walk into me like that, bro? That just shoot, turn, bro. Turn around, man. You have anything on you? Turn around. Man. What's in his back pocket? Man, you just shot me, man. Watch your mouth, man. No, it's not a my bad. You saw me coming in the store, man. What you doing? My bad. Stop playing, man. What you got on you? Don't move. I got a gun on bro. Six nine recovered. Don't move. Oh, you think no matter if you knew it was a cop or not that you if you knew you were packing if you were carrying illegally a stolen firearm you would carry yourself with a little more caution a little more purpose and and watch the way that you move every single step you never know who's who could steal that weapon from you it might fall out like oh my god there's so many different scenarios that could play out what are you thinking you're not How old are you, man? How much? 17. Who gun is that? 17. You're done, boy. Yeah. <laughs> And it was, oh, he had it in the, in the chamber? Mm. Mm. You planning to break in somewhere too? Breaking windows? Wow. Now that's the cops that I grew up watching. He handled business straight up, not there to play around, no wasting any sort of time. God bless that officer right there. He went right in after the call was made, fearless, perfect arrest, taking down the bad guys, the scum of society. Although it's just a kid, 17, you could be charged as an adult. You're right there. Like you should know better. You should know how to operate and carry yourself in society and stealing a gun. This, he had a list of charges that will break down the actual article on the news website. When the officer got to the scene, police say the suspect identified as 17 year old Tavon Shelton deliberately shoved the law enforcement agent leading to the officer detaining the teen. Now I'm not sure if he deliberately shoved him, but he definitely bumped into him and that's a no-no. That, that's <laughs> Watch where you're going. During a search of Shelton, the young man we're talking about, police say the officer found a magazine with 16 9 millimeter rounds, a black face mask, a glass puncher, and a firearm that had been altered to be changed from a semi-automatic to a fully automatic weapon. My goodness, the, the charges just keep on stacking and they it, they deserve to come to you for real because this you got multiple things right there. What are you doing with a black face mask? You're, you're clearly planning to rob a place, to break into a place, to do some harm. As a semi-automatic clearly wasn't good enough for you, could, just manually pulling the trigger wasn't good. You needed to fully unload, full send, empty the mag. All 16 of them just brrr, semi as fast as you could go, fully automatic, not legal for everyday citizens. That's military grade weapons all the way unloaded, just one, one pull of the trigger and brrr, all of them go unloaded. No need for it. 
In their investigation, officials say that they found that the firearm had been stolen out of Sandy Springs. Officials say Shelton is a confirmed gang member and already had a warrant out for his arrest in DeKalb County for failure to appear on a robbery charge. So again, acting up, knowing you shouldn't be out there, you shouldn't have possession of a firearm, you shouldn't be breaking into anywhere, but just constantly just going down the line. It's just a slippery slope of just negative, degrading criminal behavior and eventually you're going to get caught eventually you're going to have to face those charges and own up and pay responsibility for the way that you've chosen to live your life shelton is now in custody charged with possession of tools for the commission of a crime simple assault obstruction theft by receiving unlawful possession of automatic weapons and possession of a firearm by a person under the age of 18 all of this and he ain't even legally grown yet are you <laughs> This guy's mother must be so proud of him, right? Like, my goodness. Pray for these people, y'all. And for all of this lawlessness that we see, it's sad. It, it breaks my heart. It really does. But these are choices that they made. God always gives us the path to righteousness, to choose that. He gave us free will. Or you can choose to go that criminal route, that dark, deep route that leads to despair, eternal damnation in hell. That's on you. If you want to make that choice, if you want to wage sin, it's going to amount to death. Now, no matter what's going on in society, I always try to tie it in biblically and based on scripture because this is very scripture based because a lot of people don't know that God has allowed these authorities to be put in charge. These people are put there to govern, to keep our streets safe. And people automatically want to jump to the extreme, rare, very uh, isolated situation situations of, oh, but there's bad cops. Uh, cops are targeting black folks and this, this, that, and the third. That's not the case whatsoever. Are there bad seeds at, at times throughout history? Absolutely. But you can find that in any walk of society. You can have a bad cook in the kitchen that's, that's spitting in food. You can have a bad insurance where you can find bad in every situation and scenario. This young man was ensuing in gang violence. That is bad. That is not how you're supposed to act. That is not what God created you in his image for. He created you to do good works, to live in righteousness, not to act like this. So I want to dish out some biblical soul food just for those of you guys that haven't looked at it from this lens. Romans 13 verses 1 through 7 says, let everyone submit to the governing authorities since there is no authority except from God and the authorities that exist are instituted by God. So then the one who resists the authority is opposing God's command and those who oppose it will bring judgment on themselves. He asked for it. God put these people in power. He let them to come into power. Biden, Trump, any president that's ever been there, God allowed that to happen. God can stop anything. He allows things to happen to work it out for his kingdom, for his purpose. We're human beings. We can't fathom what the, the greater purpose is, but I'm not God. You aren't either. So he's going to do what he's going to do. And I have complete faith without even having to see God. I know that he's going to work it all out for the greater good for those that look to him. Period. Now, let me finish. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Do you want to be unafraid of the one in authority? Do what is good and you will have its approval. Act respectful. Do what the law enforcement says. Common sense. For it is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid because it does not carry the sword for no reason. For it is God's servant and avenger that brings wrath on the one who does wrong. Therefore, you must submit not only because of wrath, but also because of your conscience. And for this reason, you pay taxes since the authorities are God's servants continually attending to these tasks. Pay your obligations to everyone. Taxes to those you owe taxes, tolls to those you owe tolls, respect to those you owe respect, and honor to those you owe honor. Do what you're supposed to. Live a simple life. Follow God's word. Dive into God's word. Know it. Love it. Abide by it. Life will run a whole lot easier. You're only here one time. Why do you want to insist in this lawless behavior? Why do you want to keep waging sin that you know is going to lead to death? Or you haven't been shown scripture, so you watch people like me that shares the good news, that wants you to know the gospel, to know the saving grace of Jesus Christ and what he took on the cross for. Stop thinking you're a victim. Stop thinking the world is out to get you, that you're oppressed, because you're not. The world is not out to get you. God's going to work it all out. Stay in his word. Live the righteous, godly life. Repent from your sin. Confess Christ as Lord and Savior 
Savior, then you're saved, and then he will change your heart. He's going to work in you. You're a born-again Christian, and from that, he's going to produce nothing but good things. Is life going to be easy? Absolutely not. We all face trial and tribulation, but if you keep looking to the Lord, he'll always push you through it. He'll always be the light in the darkness. If you could be in the darkest place of your life right now, you can be in all sorts of sin and drugs and gang behavior and loved ones dying. You don't know which way to go. You could be in the darkest place of your life, but when you dive into that book, when you drop to your knees, when you pray to the Lord, he can outshine any darkness. I promise you, I know because I didn't grow up in the church. I didn't grow up saved. None of that. Turn from your ways. Start pursuing the love that is God. Everything will be beautiful and everything will have a purpose. And then when you die, you, when you are done here on earth, you'll live forever with eternal peace and salvation with Jesus Christ in heaven. That's where I'm trying to go. So stop putting your eggs in the basket of man, in the basket of gang violence and money and sexual sin and all this, this wickedness that we see. Stop putting your eggs in that basket and put your eggs in the basket of God's will. Stop living by your own accord. Live, live by God's word. Live by God's plans for your life. You can make all the plans that you want in this life, but at the end of the day, no matter what, no matter who you are, God determines your steps deal with it. But that's all I got for today. I know I can get a little long winded. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video. And, you know, feel free to share this video as always. The, the algorithm is always working against Christian values. So definitely get this out in front of the public so they can see what real truth looks like, not just this perceived fake of this world truth. But outside of that, if you want to support the channel, you like what I'm doing over here, you can always get awesome designs like this, Isaiah 4110, made by my lovely wife over on her Etsy store. She also has insulated tumblers like this, this Soldiers of America one right here, many other Christian American designs, petite, teat, small designs to big, big and hefty 5Xs. We got everything you would like over there uh, linked in the description section down below. Big thank you to my Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee members. Y'all know I love you. You putting your hard-earned money behind me, I am forever grateful. I can't even put it into words how much you guys mean to me and just allowing me to monetarily support my family when YouTube made demonetized videos or, or whatever it may be. But if YouTube takes us now, I'll be over on Rumble. So make sure you're following me over there as well. But until next time, I love you. Godspeed. I'm gone.